Hello guys, this is Brady, and um, I recently did a, um, a video on YouTube about binaural beats, but um, I just wanted to redo it because uh, some of the quality issues, um, and I wanted to upload it to Rever, and I was going to do a little bit of a better video this time, explaining exactly what binaural beats are. So, um, I uh, just went up and pulled up Wikipedia right here. And I'm just going to give you a little bit of background information about what binaural beats are. Binaural beats or binaural tones are auditory processing artifacts that is apparent sounds. The, percep per the perception of which arises in the brain independent of physical stimuli. This effect was discovered in 1839 by Hendrik Wilhelm Dove. Um, that's just um, the dude who figured out about this crap. Um, uh, yeah, sorry about saying it's crap. Okay, so, um, basically, um, you have to be using stereo headphones. The effect is created with stereo headphones using something called holophonics. Um, now, there's two channels in stereo headphones, a left and a right. Now, basically, how this works is that you are playing a certain sine wave from the left and a different sine wave from the right and they're each different frequencies but the difference between the two frequencies is very low so that it can create this beating effect now the beating effect sounds uh, pretty interesting but um is how the the beating effect is created is okay say in your left ear you play uh, 200 hertz and your right ear, right ear you play 190 hertz now you subtract 200 by 190 and that would equal 10 hertz now the brain wave works off of hertz too your brain and so there's basically a list of different um, waves that your brain runs off of there are the 40 hertz range which is gamma waves there is the 13 through 40 hertz range which is the beta waves, there's the 7 through 13 hertz range, which is the alpha alpha waves, there's the 4 through 7 hertz range, which is the theta waves, and the negative, f uh, well, the um, underneath 4 hertz range, and uh, that would be the delta waves. Now, gamma waves are higher mental activity, beta waves are um, just an active mind, alpha waves are relaxation while awake, Theta waves are dreams, deep meditation, and hypnosis. And delta waves are dr deep dreamless sleep. So either it's a dreamless sleep or you're unconscious or something. Your brain's just not working properly when it's under the 4 hertz range. And um, so that's just a little bit of information about different brain waves and how they're associated with your brain. Now, um, the difference between the two frequencies must be a small amount. It must be below 30 hertz. So, the, the way binaural beats work is it works through entrainment. That's where your brain hears a certain frequency or it sees a certain frequency or something. And your brain reacts to that and it, and it says, okay, I want to get to this frequency. Just like because, I don't know, it's less distracting to your brain or something at that frequency like it's blocking it out or something and once it gets to that frequency it blocks it out and you're at that frequency or brain state so like I said if we have 200 Hertz playing in the left channel of the headphones 200 Hertz and 190 in the right one it's gonna create a beating effect and it's gonna do 10 Hertz which is in the alpha range I believe so that would be relaxation while awake and so that would be one way to create a binaural beat now people find that it's unpleasant to listen to pure sine waves so most people either add sine waves listen to music or something the easiest way for most people to um, do this is they usually add um, pink noise which is a sort of sound wave and um, that's what most people use. Um, you can also play any 
background noise. You can even play music. But um, if you're playing music and you're like playing it in iTunes or something, change the equalizer so that all of the bass is turned down. Because it uses the bass to um, create the beating effect. So you're not going to want to have too much bass. Now, um, so is how an, um, exactly how this works. Um, your brain, it, it, it's perceiving two tones. One in your left ear and one in your right ear. And each one of those is um, connected to the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere of your brain. And there are obviously two tones playing in both ears. So it's two tones. Then the difference between the two is the third tone, which is an independent stimuli that's created in your brain. And that's what a binaural beat is. Now, um, I don't really know if there's any, any more to really explain about this. Um, there is one more thing about binaural beats that um, would be some that I should probably talk about. Um, the different frequencies that you use, you know, like that you play in each ear, that's gonna change the effects of what the binaural beat does. Like if I play 200 in one ear and 190 in the other ear, just like I was talking about earlier, it's gonna give me a different effect from then if I played 300 hertz in one ear and then 290 hertz in the other ear. It's gonna come up with some different results. That's all I can really say about that. Um, now there's a few programs that you can use to um, to uh, listen to some binaural beats or create your own binaural beats. Um, one I use is called iDoser, and you can just find that at iDoser.com. And um, they have some binaural beats that you can buy. Another one would be called SBA Gen, which is what iDoser is based off of, only it's in command line. Which I like that one because you can make your own binaural beats and it also comes with about 50 or so binaural beats um, and then another way to create a binaural beat if you want to actually create a binaural beat would be to use a program called audacity and then you just get the Nyquist plugin off of um, audacity.sf.net they actually have it on there just do a little bit searching for it and you'll I'm sure you'll find it it's just a little simple plugin um, and other than that, all I gotta say is, um, really remember, you're gonna need headphones. So, um, the ones I'm using right now are the, um, Behringer HPS 3000. Some, uh, studio quality headphones. I think they cost like $35 or something. But you're gonna need, um, an adapter because they're, um, one-fourth inch connectors. So you're gonna need a one-fourth to one-eighth inch jack converter. Other than that, I think uh, I think that's about it, and uh, that's basically what binaural beats are. And um, if you guys like the quality of this a little bit better than my YouTube version, just send me an email at brady at bradyobrien.com. And if you have any questions, you can also send me an email at that. And um, I'll be redoing all my tutorials too, so um, just stick around and uh, keep checking my Rever account for some. Uh, for uh, some new videos. Hopefully I'll have some more up.